Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Dennis. Today I want to cover up three things. I want to give you guys a star points code with um, some other things. It's not just star points, it's also um, some accessories, a little hat or some ears or something like that. I don't know, I haven't redeemed the code um, yet. The code is called actually Birthday Fun. You get a balloon, a hat, um, some ears, and a hundred star points for them. And you also get some roses as pets or whatever. That's not. Um, the most exciting thing. And then there's another code called thumbs up and you get a shirt for that. I want to talk with you guys about some spoilers that we got from Source Table of a new horse that we're getting, which is pretty exciting. And then I want to rant about the animations of our horses a little bit and also compare our horses to our horses animations to the animations of the horses from the game Sims. Um, all the credits are gonna go to CC creations of that footage. But first of all, let's look at a horse, the new horse that we're getting. So our stables posted this video four days ago of this little snout um, of this new horse and the animations are so unique and so cool. I love the way it moves, the mouth and the teeth are so realistic and the tongue too. Everything is just really, really cool. And I hope these animations are going to be implemented to all of um, the horses we already have, but that's probably not going to happen. That never happens. And then they posted this video. Um, this animation is so awesome. We're actually gonna get this animation for this horse, and oh my god, would you look at those ears? Would you look at those ears? It looks like a fairy, fairy tailish kind of horse. It's not too magical and also not too realistic, which is the perfect combination. Um, I love its face. It looks like a little elf or like um, the horse of an elf, you know? That's so cool. I love this so much. I've always loved this kind of vibe, even in art, this kind of fairy tailish vibes, you know? But not too magical. I don't like that at all. But this is just the perfect amount of magic and realness, if that's even a word. So yeah, this horse is really cool. It's coming in the October of 7th, and four hours ago we got this video. Um, this is a nice close-up um, of the animations too. Dude, they're so awesome. I love the blur in the background, that's really cool. And the ears are so awesome. I love the little hairs right there. And the vein, the snout, everything is so realistic and so cool. It looks like a reindeer, almost. Here is some fun background um, lore about the Yorvik Wild Horse. Also, this horse is called the Yorvik Wild Horse, but it's not a magical horse. They're gonna change the name of the magical horses so that we don't get them confused. Um, this horse is here to stay forever. It's not a limited edition horse, which is really cool. Um, let's read what Sir Sable wrote about them. The Yorvik Wild Horse is ancient and primal. Unlike feral horses who run wild, this breed has never been domesticated and bred by humans. They are creatures of the wild, and as such, more like animals of the forest, alert to danger and ready to defend their herd from threats. That said, they are not flighty. The Yorvik wild, despite being an herbivore, is an alpha of the wild. The Pandorian energy that courses through their blood causes other animals of the forest to treat them with reverence. That is such a nice description, Yorvik gun wild. Dude, this horse is so cool, I'm so excited, all my star quests are gonna go to these horses. I'm really curious if we're gonna get only one coat, because as you can tell from all these spoilers, pretty sure they all look the same. No, actually this one is a different coat from this one. See, this one is more like a red, and this one's more of a... Grulo, I think. Yeah. This one's a lighter color, this one's more of a reddish color. And then this one's a more purple color, or like a more, like a darker variation. I'm not sure if it's the same horse coat, this one with this one, but I'm sure this one is totally different from these two. Yeah, anyway, really excited about these horses, I'm definitely gonna buy them. And also, I'm pretty sure they said something like the um, animations are gonna be changed, like, wait. Here's your first sneak peek. Could this mean more expressions for your feisty friends? Feisty friends. It doesn't say for your feisty friend. It says friends. So I'm thinking, are they gonna add this animation to all of the other horses? I don't think so. Maybe, but that would be cool. I don't know. There's this YouTuber called CC Creations. I'm gonna link their channel down below in the video. I'm gonna be showing you guys a video of them, actually. A video they created. They implemented the Sims animations of the horse on the Star Stable horses. And I'm really frustrated because Star Stable is the biggest horse game out there, yet their animations are still not the best, and Sims has better animations for their horses, and Sims is not a horse game. Sims is more than just horses, you know, and Sims has better animations. Which is a bit um, confusing, but I'm not blaming Star Stable because I believe that the Sims team and the company is way bigger than Star Stable's team and company, so there are more members um, and teammates creating Sims 
creating that game, you know, so they have more resources, more time, more energy, and I'm not blaming them, but I'm hoping Star Sable will watch this video, or watch CC Creations video, and implement these animations um, in Star Sable 2. And now let's look at a video and let's talk about it. Sims 3 animations in Star Sable Online, an experiment. So this video is by CC Creations, again, um, go and check their video out, link in the description. So let's, let's, well, let's watch this video. Um, this is the intro. First of all, let me tell you that I do not want to belittle the animations in Star Sable. Animating is not that easy, and I personally like most of the new animations, especially the ones from the Soul Riders. But Sims 3 has a lot of nice animations when it comes to interactions between human and horse, and I wanted to experiment a little with that. Okay, that's really cool. Anyway, I took the 3D models of Star Stable and put the animations from Sims 3 on them. It's not always perfectly smooth because the models were not made for the Sims 3 rigs. If you're interested in the process, I put some info about it in the info box. Alright, let's let's watch the first one. So this is a gallop. I'm, I'm honestly not a huge fan of this one, but um, the other animations are literally the best. This one, for example, this animation is so cool. The way the rider moves, it's so realistic and so cool. I think it's really cool, yeah, I definitely like this. And this is really funny. <laughs> this is such a Sims 3 animations. This is such a Sim Sims 3 animation, sorry. The next one is laying down and like playing a little bit in the ground or whatever, like rolling on the ground. We definitely need, <laughs> we definitely need this animation in the game. <laughs> I can't believe I said playing in the ground. My English said no today. Um, anyway, this animation is so good. This one, we've been, all of us, the Star Sable community has been dying for this animation, for like a bucking, for throwing the rider off of the horse animation, whatever. This one, I'm not sure what's happening here, it's just dancing or something, and then playing the guitar. Oh yeah, this one, look at the facial expression of the horse. That is so detailed, and that's so cool. And then this one, man, we need, we need this animation in the game. As we can pet our horses, you guys know we can pet our horses on the forehead. And then those like little hearts just float around above the horse's head. But this is so, so much better. I'm not saying remove that, but add this, you know, like, we need more than that. Um, then this one again, laying down. This is such a cool animation. We're gonna actually get this animation with the new horse breed, which I think is really, really cool. Thank you, Star Sable, for that. I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, I actually know what's happening. They're just, like, you know, playing with a little cat. Nothing too special, but it's, it's awesome. And then this one. I, I think this one is so awesome. You interacting with the horse, you as a rider. And bonding with them. We need this in the game, you know? I would love to have this in the game. I'd love to see that in the game. And then this one, too. Um, we don't need this in the game. I mean, we could use this when we sell our horses. Well, no, that, that doesn't mean that the horse is, um, dies when you sell the horse, but this one is just Sims, you know. Because I believe in Sims, your horse can die. And this one is, you know, feeding your little foal. We again don't need this because we don't have foals, sadly, in Star Stable that we can actually um, own. This one is so much better, this brushing animation, than the one that we have in the game now. It's not that different, but I think it's really cool. Just the movements of the riders are just way more smooth, you know? And then this one would be really cool if we had this, if we had breeding in the game. That would be really cool. But we don't have breeding in the game. I think that would be really hard. Like, can you, like, start able to add breeding in a game? That would change so many things, guys. Just think about it. That would change so many things. And that would be very hard for Source Able to implement in a game. I love this so much. This is really cool. One of my favorite animations, actually. Then this one again. Really cool. Better than the one we already have now. Everything seems so real and smooth. You know, everything's flowing. That's what I love about these animations. This one is similar to the one we have with, like, petting the horse's forehead. But this one's just way more realistic and detailed and... Yeah. Then again, this would be cool if we had breeding in the game, but we don't. That would be a lot of work for Star Stable to do to add breeding in the game, because then, you know, if you were to have two, horse, two horses breeding, the horse coat, like what horse coat would we, would we be able to get, you know? For example, if you have two quarter horses breeding together, right? Let's say you can only breed 
horses that are the same breed. So you breed two quarter horses. One is Palomino, one is Bay. Um, which horse coat do you get? Like which coat will the foal be? Will it be will it be one of the existing horse coats we already have in the game? Or would it be a different one? You know, Star Stable would have a lot of work to do if they were to add like um, the breeding system in the game. So I'm not blaming them for that, but that would be so cool. I would love that. I am in no way, shape or form judging Star Stable and their animations and their skills of animating. For the past year they have been only improving this game in so many ways, from coats to animations to horse breeds, literally everything. The graphics, the design, everything is way better and I'm very proud of Star Stable, but I would love if they would maybe get inspired by these animations from Sims and add them in the game, or maybe add a few of them. Also I'm really happy with the scout animation we're getting with the new Yorbic Wild Horse that we're getting and the fact that it's laying down, that's really realistic and that's really really cool. But I would really love an animation where you would be able to um, fall off of your horse, you know? Like your horse would literally buck you off, or like throw you off, that would be really cool. But um, again, I'm patient and I'm, and I'm sure Star Stable is gonna, you know, only improve this game. They've really outdone themselves lately, I'm very proud of that, I'm very proud of Star Stable. Again, all the credits of that video go to CC Creations, go ahead and subscribe to them. Um, their videos are really, really cool. They're really original. This was it for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think of the animations I just showed. Let me know what you think of the new Wild Horse that's coming. And you're welcome for the code. <laughs> Alright, guys. These are the channel members of this month. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate all of you guys. If you want to be a channel member, then you can press the join button near the subscribe button and become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, ring the bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. And see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone.